Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mortal Jellyfish video. Today we're taking a deep dive into the Builder Kit to test how good the upgraded blocks do against all types of tools, TNT, and fireballs. Now if you like this style of video of me digging into the kit and testing how good it is and how it works, make sure to like and subscribe to let me know you want to see more videos like this one. With that said, let's hop into the testing. Okay, so the first thing that should be noted is you cannot make nether portals. That's not real. Uh, yeah, it was just some editing. I apologize. Uh, but with that said, we do got two different testing zones set up here to test uh, upgraded blocks here with the builder. If you don't know what the builder kit does, you buy this hammer out of the shop for 20 iron, and then you can click on blocks and pay uh, pay pay uh, iron to upgrade them. You know, each one costs different values uh, depending on how good the block is. Typically, costs a bit more. Uh, so yeah, you can see how that works. Upgrades blocks. I'm supposed to make them harder to break, but we're going to test that today. This side is going to be uh, wood pickaxe and axe, obviously. Uh, stone pickaxe and axe. Iron, diamond, and then we're going to do diamond with uh, break speed 1 and diamond with break speed 2 here. Uh, and then this is our TNT testing area, which I did some testing. Obviously this is our control because you can't blow up ceramic, but we're going to just be dropping a TNT in as so. And... Uh, seeing if these blocks can withstand that now you may be thinking uh jelly aren't those a bit too close and no i actually tested it and uh, these are not too close so yeah putting tnt in here is not going to affect this one's integrity at all uh so we got stone and then we got wood uh and then i figure once we blow these up we can make wool ones and once we blow this one up we'll make a wood one with uh reinforcements as well uh and then of course you know Maybe, maybe you're wondering, is Obsidian TNT proof? So we got that one as well to try. Uh, with that said, we're going to start off with the TNT one because I think that's the most simplest one. Uh, we already dropped one in here, but we'll do one again for good measure. Uh, as you can see, nothing. All right, so let's move on to TNT and the basic stone. Let's see how TNT acts with stone. All right, wipes the whole thing out. Okay, let's test it on the upgraded stone. Does upgraded stone make a difference with TNT? Nope. All right, so let's build our wool ones here real quick. It takes like five seconds to make one of these. All right, and then we'll make our other one real quick. All right, and then we upgrade it. Make sure we get every block in here upgraded. All right, it's all upgraded. Now we're gonna go ahead and TNT that one. And yeah, nothing, nothing but uh, all gone. So let's test the upgraded one. And as you can see, upgraded wool does no different either. So we'll quickly build our wood one here. Uh, so that way we can compare an upgraded wood to a normal wood. Uh, the results are probably pretty obvious considering how both of the other blocks acted towards TNT. Uh, but just in case you're curious, let's get on with it. Now, I did get fireballs, and I was going to do these two separately, but that would be wasting your time as... Well, that didn't work as planned. Um, let's, let's replace those. Uh, fireballs actually seem to have the same explosion radius as TNT. Uh, but yeah, we will, uh, get to that in just a second. Let's break this real quick. So we can make sure one's upgraded. Um, these have the same explosive radius as TNT, although the aim can really mess it up sometimes. So, uh, let's see. Let's throw it right here. Bam. There you go. All right. See, so now you can see that the upgraded blocks are not going to make a difference against TNT or fireballs. Uh, fireballs obviously can't break this either. Uh, yeah, not getting anywhere there. Uh, so yeah, upgraded blocks don't stop TNT or fireballs. They're going to be the same strength as just normal blocks. That said, let's jump into seeing if we can't blow up obsidian. That should be good, right? Let's throw some fireballs at it. All right, I think it's pretty apparent that you cannot blow up ceramics or obsidian uh, blocks in this game. Uh, yeah, so that's going to lead us into our mining test here, uh, where we're going to test, uh, obviously, wood is going to be used with an axe, all stone is going to be used with a pick, and yeah, we're going to go from here. So this will be our wood test. Uh, as you can see, though, it does not matter whether you use stone, whether you use a pickaxe or an axe on wool, it's going to do the same amount of damage. So we're going to start off with our wood pickaxe one two three hits to break wool and then we go to the upgrade one it's gonna be one two three four five six seven so over double the hits with wood to break the wool so now let's test uh, let's test the wood one two three four five six all right test the upgrade one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
So not quite as good as the wool covered in reinforcement, but still pretty good. All right, now this is gonna be a long one, so I'm not gonna count these, but we can just get a good idea how long this is gonna take. All right, that was the non-upgraded one. Let's hit the upgraded one. Oh my goodness, yeah, I would never rush this. There's no way you'd rush with a wood pickaxe on this kind of reinforced element. All right, now something to note here about about uh, ceramic is that without upgrades, either the pick or the axe can break them. We'll do that again real quick. This is our wood axe and pick. Now, to note though, if you use the wood axe on the upgraded, hmm, not quite good enough to break it. Now we pull out our pick now that we've reset the health on this block. And you can see that it's two hits with the wood pickaxe to break the reinforced ceramic. Still not a lot, you know, that's real easy to break through. But uh, yeah, it's definitely something different. Um, obsidian, I mean, yeah, we can mine this all day, but we're probably just gonna skip this. Um, yeah, probably wouldn't go after that with a wood pickaxe. Uh, but yeah, let's go upgrade these tools and let's hit uh, the stone up. Okay, we're back with our stone pickaxe and our stone axe. Let's test this out. Let's make sure the damage values are no different. No different still here. Seems that there's no bonus to uh, that. Still seems to be about the same. All right, let's test our wood versus the stone. Oh yeah, that's way better. Wait, let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on that. That's, that's still a lot, to be honest. I still would probably rush that with that. Obviously, these are going to be a bit faster, but still relatively long. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and now let's see. Well, wood axe still doesn't seem to have any bonus against this, so yeah. Obviously, we break that one hit with the stone, and upgraded ceramics are only going to stand one hit from stone, so that's going to be the end of those. Uh, obsidian's a bit weaker to a stone pickaxe, uh, as you can see here, but uh. Oh, yeah, that reinforced one, though, is going to take a bit longer as it seems like. It actually looks to be almost maybe double the amount of damage it takes to break that one. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, let's go get those iron tools. Okay, we're back here with our iron pickaxe and our iron axe. So let's try this out again. Obviously, I think the wool's always just going to be the same. Yeah, the wool's always going to be the same because there's no item that actually makes it break faster. So we're not going to do the wool from here on out until we get into the break speed. Then we'll, then we'll go back over that. Uh, all right, let's work on this wood with the iron. One, two, three. Three with an iron to break a wood plank. That's not too shabby. Now let's try this one. One, two, three, four, five. So two extra hits if it's reinforced. It's not much, but I mean, it's something. And that was handled pretty easily. And yeah, that that was a bit stronger, to be honest, against the, the iron. Obviously, these are going to insta-break. Let's see iron versus obsidian. I mean, yeah, it's not too shabby. I don't know if I'd rush with this, though. I'd probably wait to get the uh, the diamond one. All right, well, that's how fast those are. Let's uh, let's go grab the diamond tools. Okay, so we're back with our diamond pickaxe and our diamond axe. Let's see who can uh, how fast we can get through these now. These are still the same, obviously, because there's nothing like shears to break these faster. But let's try the diamond against the wood. One, two, two hits now. That's pretty quick. And then you can also one hit the bed with this, obviously. Uh, so let's try the reinforced. One, two, three. Three hits. Three or two. I mean, it's only adding one hit once they have a diamond axe, so not too much. Uh, and let's try the stone. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Two more hits on that. Obviously, those are going to insta-break. Let's test this against obsidian. I mean, that's still a lot of hits, but uh, it's definitely better. Uh, on that note, though, let's go get our break speed one upgrade. All right. Bot break speed one. Let's go test this tools out again. All right, so with break speed, three hits, six, seven on that one. All right. Okay, so yeah, that was relatively quicker. Like you could see the two hits on that was pretty quick. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, the 15% definitely changes the game up a little bit. We are definitely chopping these a lot faster, especially on something like obsidian break speed is going to be real helpful. Okay, let's go get a break speed 2 and try this again. Okay, we're back out here with our break speed tier 2 upgrade. This should be 40% faster mining speeds here, so we'll see how fast we go now. Oh, it's relatively slow on those. Well, okay, those uh, those got deleted. Let's let's redo that. Those Those actually got, like, destroyed. One hit, oh my goodness. And then it's two hits with this, with the diamond and break two. That's actually quick. Gonna be three hits there. Oh, I forgot to upgrade these, my bad, my bad. Let's fix that. 
All right, still four hits with break speed, so didn't fix much for us there. Oh man, we we're just tearing through that obsidian now. That upgrade to obsidian was a lot stronger though. Let's let's test that out and see how much hits with break speed too. How much this is actually helping us? Two emeralds there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six hits versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it'll be three more hits for that. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the end for this builder testing. Uh, do note that all of your upgrades are completely worthless towards TNT, uh, which now that I realize that and I know that TNT is just as strong against everything, regardless if it's upgraded or not, uh, is rather disappointing. I mean, like, that makes builder, honestly, my, my next tier list is probably going to put builder a bit lower because of learning this new knowledge uh, that I didn't really notice at first. Uh, but with that said, basically your upgrades are only going to stop, uh, only going to stop people from mining through stuff. And at that rate, it's not very much longer. Like they're still going to break in rather quickly, to be honest. On that note though, uh, we're going to head into the outro of this video and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Wow, you made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you. Thanks for uh, making it here. Uh, with that said though, uh, I let me know what kit you guys would like me to expand explore more into i mean like i've learned a few things with barbarian doing stuff like this like the fact that you have to wait 10 seconds after somebody respawns to generate rage so you can't just base camp and farm a rage blade off somebody uh so there's a lot of interesting niche little things like that that the game really doesn't tell us about would you like me to explore these things if so let me know with a comment below on that note though thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace out